Chapter 4 Then the Lord said to Moses, Give the Israelites the following instructions for dealing with those who sin unintentionally by doing anything forbidden by the Lord's commands. If the high priest sins, bringing guilt upon the entire community, he must bring to the Lord a young bull with no physical defects. He must present the bull to the Lord at the entrance of the tabernacle, lay his hand on the bull's head, and slaughter it there in the Lord's presence. The priest on duty will then take some of the animal's blood into the tabernacle, dip his finger into the blood, and sprinkle it seven times before the Lord in front of the inner curtain of the most holy place. The priest will put some of the blood on the horns of the incense altar that stands in the Lord's presence in the tabernacle. The rest of the bull's blood must be poured out at the base of the altar of burnt offerings at the entrance of the tabernacle. The priest must remove all the fat around the bull's internal organs, the two kidneys with the fat around them near the loins, and the lobe of the liver. Then he must burn them on the altar of burnt offerings, just as is done with the bull or cow sacrificed as a peace offering. But the rest of the bull, its hide, meat, head, legs, internal organs, and dung, must be carried away to a ceremonially clean place outside the camp, the place where the ashes are thrown. He will burn it all on a wood fire in the ash heap. If the entire Israelite community does something forbidden by the Lord, and the matter escapes the community's notice, all the people will be guilty. When they discover their sin, the leaders of the community must bring a young bull for a sin offering and present it at the entrance of the tabernacle. The leaders must then lay their hands on the bull's head and slaughter it there before the Lord. The priest will bring some of its blood into the tabernacle, dip his finger into the blood, and sprinkle it seven times before the Lord in front of the inner curtain. He will then put some of the blood on the horns of the incense altar that stands in the Lord's presence in the tabernacle. The rest of the blood must then be poured out at the base of the altar of burnt offerings at the entrance of the tabernacle. The priest must remove all the animal's fat and burn it on the altar, following the same procedure as with the sin offering for the priest. In this way, the priest will make atonement for the people, and they will be forgiven. The priest must then take what is left of the bull outside the camp and burn it there, just as is done with the sin offering for the high priest. This is a sin offering for the entire community of Israel. If one of Israel's leaders does something forbidden by the Lord his God, he will be guilty even if he sinned unintentionally. When he becomes aware of his sin, he must bring as his offering a male goat with no physical defects. He is to lay his hand on the goat's head and slaughter it before the Lord at the place where burnt offerings are slaughtered. This will be his sin offering. Then the priest will dip his finger into the blood of the sin offering, put it on the horns of the altar of burnt offerings, and pour out the rest of the blood at the base of the altar. He must burn all the goat's fat on the altar, just as is done with the peace offering. In this way, the priest will make atonement for the leader's sin, and he will be forgiven. If any of the citizens of Israel do something forbidden by the Lord, they will be guilty even if they sinned unintentionally. When they become aware of their sin, they must bring as their offering a female goat with no physical defects. It will be offered for their sin. They are to lay a hand on the head of the sin offering and slaughter it at the place where burnt offerings are slaughtered. The priest will then dip his finger into the blood, put the blood on the horns of the altar of burnt offerings, and pour out the rest of the blood at the base of the altar. Those who are guilty must remove all the goat's fat, just as is done with the peace offering. Then the priest will burn the fat on the altar, and it will be very pleasing to the Lord. In this way, the priest will make atonement for them, and they will be forgiven. If any of the people bring a sheep as their sin offering, it must be a female with no physical defects. They are to lay a hand on the head of the sin offering, and slaughter it at the place where the burnt offerings are slaughtered. The priest will then dip his finger into the blood, put it on the horns of the altar of burnt offerings, and pour out the rest of the blood at the base of the altar. Those who are guilty must remove all the sheep's fat, just as is done with the sheep presented as a peace offering. Then the priest will burn the fat on the altar on top of the offerings given to the Lord by fire.
In this way the priest will make atonement for them, and they will be forgiven.